It's time right now that we go live to Dr. L.C. Green of the Uchi Chapel AME Church. It's located in Seal, Alabama. Hear ye, hear ye for the next 30 minutes, Dr. L.C. Green. Good, good morning, good morning, Dr. Woodley. Good to see you this morning, and God bless you this morning in a very special way. Good morning to each and every one of you who are listening I, I want to I want to do something a little different this morning than I normally do. I normally come and encourage you to go to church, but I want to say a few words this morning. I want to say a, good, so a few words this morning. I want to change my program around just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna still say go to church, but uh, Miss Franklin, uh, the Franklin family, Miss Miss Laura Marshall, and the Franklin family lost their brother. And I'm going to try to say a few words. I want to try to dedicate the service to her. And, and Mrs. Woodley, Mrs. Woodley, the loss of your grandmother this morning, Ms. Mayo, Ms. Mayo, y'all y'all rejoice, Ms. Woodley, as painful and as hurt as it might be, but 98 years, that's nothing to sneeze at. She lived for 90, to be 98 years old. That's a blessing by itself. Amen. Now the... Bible declared that to be absent uh, from the body is to be present with God. I understand that everything is much better now. And I want to say happy birthday again to, to Dr. Ware. I want to say happy birthday to you this morning, Dr. Ware. Uh, Dr. Willie, we got another, we got another state that, we, that we're in. We're, we're in the state of Oregon. All right. Uh, little Marvin. Over in Oregon, I want to say good morning to, to the listeners out in Oregon and up in California, Louisiana, Georgia. We, we picking them up. We picking them up. Amen. We picking them up. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we come this morning with, 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 with joy in our heart, but yet we come with sadness for the families that are hurting this morning, but that we know that the sadness can be replaced with your joy. For we know that you are able to mend broken hearts. And we ask that these families, whose names we're called this morning, that, 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 you would, that you would touch their hearts if you would be so kind. And we know you are. And that you would give them the necessary strength. Uh, it looked like the end, but we know that it's just the beginning. So use us this day to say something, to do something, to comfort in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, Dr. Woodley. I'm trying to. I, I, I changed cars and I left my paper. Uh, I want somebody from First African to please call me. Uh, I know Mr. Dada, Mr. Dada I normally listen to the program. Mr. Dada, somebody from First African, please call me and reconfirm the date for... Uh, for uh, Pastor Hunter, Pastor Hunter, uh, fifth year anniversary, fifth year anniversary. Uh, my wife tried to call Dr. Hunter this morning. I just got a message that she didn't get no answer. So somebody please call me from First African Baptist and let me confirm. Uh, I don't want to put the wrong information out. I, I had it last week, but I, I don't have it now. So please call me. I, 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 it might be the 18th. It might be the 18th uh, of this month at 2.30. I know Charles Davis is going to be preaching, but I want to reconfirm that date. I think it's the 18th as I look on my calendar, but I, I don't like to put out the wrong information. So somebody from First African, please let us know the date. Please let us know the date. Please let us know the date. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm Miss Massey, a long, a long time resident of Clayton, Alabama, Spied Sunday. It's another family we want to put on our, on our, on our prayer this morning. Uh, another, 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 another family, another family, another family. She, you know, I, I, I love it when they say that she was surrounded by her loved ones. But now listen to this, y'all. 103 years. We got, we got, we got one, one who went to be Miss Mayo, 98 years old. Miss Massey is 103 years old. Lord, have mercy. And uh, her service was held Friday. I, I, I bet you that that was, 
That was a celebration. That was a celebration. That was a celebration. And uh, the family, the family, want to want to thank everybody for for their love and for their uh, uh, kindness that was shown to them during their hour. I'm waiting for somebody from the first African to call me. Oh, they they, they hung up. All right. So so this is what I want. This is what I want to do this morning. This is what I want to do this morning, especially to you, Sister, Sister Whitley, and 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 Sister, Sister Marshall. Uh, first of all, I I want I want to tell you, Sister Whitley, that my most hurting my most hurting times in my life, my most hurting times in, in my life, I've never hurt like I hurt when I lost my grandmother. I've never. I've never in my life hurt like I hurt when I lost my grandmother, and I pray God that 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 I never I never feel that kind of hurt again. But I know that it's possible because death is still around. Death is still a roaming this earth. Ever since death was let in back in Genesis, it, it has never left, and it won't leave until Jesus come. So so I I, I hate I hate telling people that. I know how you feel. I, I hate saying that because so many times it's not true. Because I, when I know when I was hurting, and and people would come tell me that they, they know how I feel, I, and and I, I just couldn't believe that. I just couldn't believe that somebody was, would would hurt the way I was hurting. So I'm not gonna say that, but I'm gonna say that I have experienced, I have experienced the hurt that death brings and and that that that's death job death job is to is to cause pain and hurt for those of us who are left behind but there's no there's no pain there is no there is no pain that god cannot get us through there's no hurt that he cannot heal and and i'm here i'm here to tell you this morning when i thought that it was the end of the world and i thought that 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 there was no help. I, I thought that there was nothing that nobody could say or nobody could do. God continued to speak to me, and and let me say something to you, to the Massey family and also to Sister Whitley. God surrounded me with people. God surrounded me with people. God surrounded me with people. Don't 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 shut yourself off. Please don't shut yourself off. God got somebody that he can place around you, that can give you words of comfort, that can help you, that can help you. Words of comfort that can help you. Please don't shut yourself off. Don't, don't, don't shut yourself off. Uh, uh, don't shut yourself off. Uh, don't, 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 turn, don't turn your loved ones. Don't turn away from your loved ones. We have a tendency to do that when we hurt, and, and, and we have a tendency to try to hurt others. So, but but please don't do that. Please don't do that. Do, 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 don't turn away. Let, let let God, God, God is gonna place people around you. People around you. God works through others, and God works through others. And God is gonna place somebody around you. He's gonna place somebody around you. He's gonna place uh, somebody around you uh, that would that would that that would give you compassion. That would give you. That will give you love and that will help you. We all we all need help. There's a time in all of our lives that we need help from others. Uh, we 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 are our brother's keeper, and that's why it's so important that we go to church and take somebody with us, so that we can get the strength to help others. So it's very important that we go to church, that we have a relationship with Jesus Christ that we might be able to help others. So I want to say to the to the massive family this morning, man, 103 years old, baby, 103 years old. Sister Massey left this world at 103 years old. That sounds like biblical times. That sounds like Old Testament days when folks was living these long lives. <clears throat> so, so, so Massey, the massive family, y'all have nothing, nothing to... To, I, and I say this very cautiously. I, I, I say this with, 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 with all of love and compassion that I can. But baby, at 103, you have nothing to, to be sad about. You, 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 you really don't. You, 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 we, we tend, we tend to be, we tend to be 
and, and I can speak from personal experience and again I'm speaking with all love and compassion we tend to be selfish we tend to want our loved ones around us all the time and forever at least as long as we are living and and that don't always work that way but sometimes we get we get selfish we get selfish in that way sometimes we get selfish enough that we think that we ought to have our loved ones around with us all of the time and and that would be beautiful that would be nice that would be kind but that also would be some unnecessary suffering and some unnecessary pain as i think about these two ladies 198 and 103 you must imagine the things that they have seen and the things that they have gone through. A hundred and three years old, just think about some of the things that she's seen and just think about even, 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 even Miss Mayo at 98 years old. She's went through some stuff. She's seen some stuff. This life that we live will put us through some stuff. And we, we, we will see some things that a person all not ought to see and go through some things that no human being ought to go through. But if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord, I don't know what we would do. And my brothers and sisters, if you don't have a relationship with him, all I can do this morning is, is, is encourage you, please, 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 get a relationship with him. Get a relationship with him and gather your family, gather your family and take your family to church that they too might get a relationship with, with him. Dr. Woodley was saying this morning that all of us are going to have to pass through the death row. All of us. So wouldn't it be nice to have somebody around you that can, that can give you words of encouragement, that can just remind us of God and how good God is, and that regardless of what we go through, God is able to, to bring us through. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be good to have those type of people around you, the type of people around you that have a relationship with God and and, and the Bible declares that on many occasions they say that God was moved by compassion. God was moved by compassion. Jesus was, was moved by compassion. Many things that, that Jesus did and it said in the scripture that he was moved by compassion. And that's what we need to do. We need to surround ourselves with people that has compassion. See, when, you, when, when, when a person has compassion, it doesn't make any difference what you do. It doesn't make any difference what you go through. Compassion is just another word for love. And when people got love one for another, then that's how we stick with each other. That's how God is able to use us uh, uh, to say the right things. Uh, many times, many times as a, as a preacher, uh, people will be going through things and then they'll call me and, well, Reverend, I, I, I know you got a word for me. And and yes, I, I, I find myself lost for words, but then I go to the word. And the only reason I have a word for you, my brothers and sisters, is that is that because I go uh, to the word. And each and every one of us can do that, each and every one of us. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that I surround my, myself with people that, that, that all we do is encourage one another. When me and Dr. Woodley talk to each other, it's always words of encouragement one to another. And I appreciate that. I really, I really appreciate that. Y'all hear me talk about, y'all hear me talk about going around to Joe's wagon and, and people like, people like uh, Bobby Willis would come up there. And me, Bobby, and Jerome, we talk about the Lord. And, 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 and that's what we need. We, we, we need people with compassion heart. We need people with the kind of heart that, that God has. And, and that way we can, we can go through this together. We can go through this together. Uh, Miss Marshall, Miss Marshall, Miss Marshall and, and the Franklin family, I've lost two brothers. I, I've lost two brothers. And again, I'm not going to try to tell you that I know how you feel. But I can tell you this, baby, it hurts. And only God, only God, only God, only God, only God. God is able to be a grandmother, he's able to be a mother, he's able to be a brother, he's able to be whatever, whatever you need. God is able to be whatever, whatever you need. I, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost, 
I lost I lost both of my brothers. I lost both of my brothers. I don't have I don't have any brothers left on this earth. I don't have any brothers left on this earth. Uh, I lost both of my brothers. I lost both of my brothers and I don't have any left on this side. Not not blood brothers. I got a lot of spiritual brothers and I thank God for that. I, I, I thank God for that. I, I thank God for that. And let, let, let me say something to those of us. Uh, uh, don't, don't try. Don't try to be a brother because we can't replace Brother Franklin. We can't be. We can't. Sister Marshall, I can't not be your brother. I can be your brother in Christ. But I, I cannot replace. I cannot replace. I cannot replace Brother Franklin. I, I cannot do that. I cannot. And I'm not even going to try. But I can give you all of the love that a Christian brother can give to another sister and, and to the whole family. I, 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 offer, I offer that to you, to the whole family. I simply offer to you, I simply offer to you my compassion and my love uh, in Christ. I offer that to you. I offer you some big old shoulders to cry on. I got some big broad shoulders and I offer that to you to cry on. Uh, uh, I offer a hand to, to pat you on the back. I, I offer that to you. I offer that to you. And whatever, whatever it is that I can do, whether it be in words or deeds, I, I sure want you to know that I do it. Whatever it is, whatever it is, in words or deeds, I, I want to offer that to you. I want to offer that to you that, uh, that I might be of assistant in any way. But I call your attention uh, to the Word of God. I call your attention to the Word of God and that you might turn to Him in our times like this. And, 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 and the first thing we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to thank Him uh, for the life that was lived. We're going to thank you for the life that was lived and we're going to thank Him that, that for 103 years He was with Sister Massey. And, for 98 years, he was with Sister Mayo, and I'm not sure how old Brother Franklin was, but for however old, however, whatever age he is, God was, God was with him all these years, and God is with you and me. God is with you and me right now. He's with you and me right now, he, and, and he declared in his word that he would be with us and never, never would he leave us. And I, I take him at his word because his record, his record proves that he that, that, that he's a God that, that keeps his word. He's a God that keeps his word. His record proves that he's a God that keeps his word. Brother Willie, that he's a God that keeps his word. 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 He's a God that keeps his word, and I. I know that to be a fact. I know that to be a fact that he's a God that keeps his word. And, and, and all of you who are listening uh, on the radio this morning, I, I just come to give you words of comfort. I just come to let you know that, that at moments like this, we, we need to turn to God. Moments like this. I, I, I did a funeral last week, and I used for a subject, what is a funeral? And, I want you to know that a funeral is simply a reminder. It's simply a reminder that all of us must go this way and we must get our business in order. We must, we must get ourselves in order. We must get ourselves in order. We must get ourselves prepared because we're going to pass this way. If we, we live 103 years old, we still got to pass this way. We live 98 years, we still got to pass this way unless Jesus come while we're yet alive. If he come while we're yet alive, then we're going to be caught up and meet him in the sky. But whatever, whatever, whatever it might be, I want you to know, whatever it might be, whatever it might be, I want you to know that, that God, is, God is able to bring us through. I'm a living testimony. I'm a living witness that, that God is able. God is able. Marvin, God is able. God is able. To bring us through, man. That's how we survive. That's how we survive. That's how we survive. When you, when you lose mother, that's how you survive. God, God is able. We don't, we don't survive on our own strength. But, but, but I always tell people this: we ought to, 
when, whenever death comes in our family, we ought, to, we ought to use that as an opportunity to get closer. We ought to get closer one to another. We ought to, we ought to use death as an opportunity to get closer. All of us ought to reach out to everybody in our family. Uh, uh, we ought to reach out to, to different members of our family, draw them near to us, draw them close to us, and let's hold on to each other's hand as we hold on to God's hand. And we can walk through whatever it is we have to walk through, but we must do it, we must do it, we must do it together, we must do it together. Ronnie, Dee Dee, and Kathy, uh, you know what it's like, you, you, you know what it's like to, to lose your mother, and you know that the only way we make it is together, y'all. One, one person can't make it by themselves. We all got to make it. We got to make it together, Lord, how much we got to make it together. So I'm here this morning just to, just to encourage you, just to encourage you to go to church that you might be fed the Word of God. I encourage you to take somebody with you, especially your family, that we might be strong enough that whatever storm, God bless you this morning, Dr. Woodley, whatever storm might come this way, whatever storm might come, regardless how high the water might get, together, together, a person, a person that knows how to swim don't mind jumping in the water to save somebody that don't know how to swim. So those of us who know the Lord, those of us who know the Lord, we ought to jump in and and, 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 and try our best to save those who don't know the Lord. You know, you know they, they tell you when, when you take swimming lessons that it's dangerous trying to save somebody that don't know how to swim because they be drowning and they be fighting you. Well, that's the same thing spiritually. Those who are not saved, they're not going to accept you just, just because you go there one time. But, but if, you truly, if you're truly concerned about them, you just got to keep on. 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 Uh, <clears throat> uh, they already had Miss Massey's service. They already had her service. Uh, they had her service. They had her service. Uh, they had her service already. Is that right, Dr. Woodley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Friday, August the 7th. Right. Yeah, they, yeah, they had her service at August the 7th, Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Clayton. Uh, Mr. Franklin's service is going to be Saturday in Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Detroit, uh, Sister, Sister Marshall told me this morning that it's going to be Saturday in Detroit. And the service for Sister Mayo is incomplete, so, but, uh, but, but we don't have to wait to pray for the family. We can begin to pray for the family right now. We can begin to pray for the family right now. We can begin to pray for the family right now. Brother Jimmy Williams, good morning to you, my dear brother. Good morning to you. Thank you for listening. All, all, all of the listeners, man, I wanna, I wanna give a special good morning to Pastor Beasley and his his members over at Star Baptist. I wanna, I wanna say good morning to you, my dear brother and friend, and to all of your, all of your members. I know, I know you have some listening this morning, and I wanna give out my special love to them, man. I tell you what, there, that's Dr. Beasley. You and your members are some kind folks to this little pastor. And I would be wrong not to say good morning to you and send my love out to you. And, and, and uh, you're going to be singing this afternoon, Dr. Doc, uh, isn't Charles B's on it this afternoon? Mm -hmm. I heard Dr. Willie talking about the, the big singing this afternoon over at the uh, auditorium, city auditorium. You're right. City auditorium. And, and my friend, my friend Charles Beasley, is going to be singing. So. Uh, that's worth going there. That's worth going there. And then that's the blind boys out of Mississippi. Right. The blind boys out of Mississippi are going to be there. They're going to be there. And Mr. Wood is all excited about it. Yes. So that kind of excitement, that draws people. <laughs> that draws people. And I'm trying to juggle. I'm trying to juggle my schedule that I might be there. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I hate. I hate Dr. Willard giving out wrong information. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that. I think that last. Last Saturday night, when, when Pastor Hunter called me, and I, I apologize to, to the listening audience, <clears throat> but I changed cars and I, I got everything wrote down. But it's in the car, and 
I don't write it down, Dr. Whitley. Yeah, I know. And I get separated <laughs> from that paper. <laughs> but but I, I think I think he said the 18th. I, I think he said the 18th. And if that's wrong, Dr. Will, I want you to fix it where I can get some time in the middle of the week and correct this if it's wrong. But uh, I, I know I know I know it's his fifth year anniversary. I know it's at 2:30, and I know that uh, moderator Charles Davis will be preaching. Charles Davis will be preaching. That's over at First African Baptist. And please, somebody, before I leave, uh, you could call me because I hate to put out the wrong date. But that's my dear brother and my dear friend. And I want y'all to go out and support that. I really do. I really want you to go support it. Uh, and, uh, and I'm thinking that it's the 18th. I'm thinking that it's the 18th. Uh, I'm thinking that it's the 18th. That's, that would be the third Sunday of this month. I, I should know that because I, 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 the last two years I've been I've been over there uh, preaching for him, and uh, but but I hope that's the but if if, if it's the wrong date I, I will I will make the correction I will make the correction and I know that there are somebody from First African that's listening to us this morning and uh, I would what what's the number here Doctor Wood two three two three two forty five thirty two okay did that go off on there. Put them on there for me, please. Two, three, two, forty-five, thirty-two. Yeah. So if somebody, thank you, thank you, Dr. Woodley. So if somebody would call, I got about five more minutes. If you give me a call and give me the right date that I might share this with with you, that I might share this with, with the air uh, across the air, uh, that I might share. Again, we're going to we want to say good morning to all of our. All of our listeners. Next Sunday, the 11th. The 11th? Uh -huh. All right, all right. What time? All right, 2 30. Bar. Cheap telephone time. Okay. Okay, but it's next Sunday. Okay, it's the 11th. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Somebody called. Oh, I'm so glad they did. Somebody called and gave the right date. It's the 11th. Uh, Pastor Hunter's fifth year anniversary will be next Sunday at 2 30. Uh, Charles Davis will be preaching. Thank you so much for the call. Thank you so much for, for calling and giving me the right date, Lord. I'll I, I be so concerned about putting out the wrong information. And all of us ought to do that. All of us ought to be concerned about make sure we put out the right information. Dr. Willie, you know, folks just get the line on folks mm -hmm. and they just get to say the wrong stuff. And That's we right. ought to be concerned about what we say. Right. We ought to be concerned about what we say, especially when you got an audience listening to you. We ought to be concerned about about what we say, especially if you got an audience listening to you. You ought to be concerned. It's at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. Is that two o'clock? Is that two o'clock? Is that two o'clock? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Woodley. Dr. Woodley, keeping me informed of the right information. So it's going to be next Sunday. At 2 o'clock at First African Baptist, the fifth year anniversary, these things I know. And Charles Davis will, will, will be there. Charles Davis will be there. And when y'all when y'all see when y'all see Dr. Ware this week, y'all make sure y'all give him a big happy birthday to him. 29. 29 and holy. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what, what we was allowed to do this morning. And we bless those that's coming. But behind us, we, we, we ask that you would anoint their ministry, that it might that it might be a blessing to the hearers. And we thank you now. We thank you for those who are listening, those who are watching us all over, all whatever state they might be in. I thank you for them. In Jesus' holy name, amen. This has been the regular weekly broadcast by Pastor L.C. Green with a message laid on his heart by God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The main purpose of this program is to encourage you to go to church next Sunday to the church of your choice.